Okay, so now I want to do a quick little review on percent yield. So, review on percent yield. Okay, and so I've got an equation, I get a formula a question that I can do on this review. Okay, so here we go. If 17.3 grams of antimony is recovered in a, law, in a lab along with carbon monoxide when 28.1 grams of tetraantimony hexoxide reacts with excess carbon, what's the percent yield of this experiment? So lots of words, words, words. Let's take out what's important. The first thing I would recognize is that we have 17.3 grams of antimony being recovered. This is our experimental yield. This is how much we're getting in the lab, along with carbon monoxide. That is giving us our equation, carbon monoxide. Otherwise, that carbon monoxide is really kind of, I don't want to say useless because it's important, it's part of the reaction, but we don't have any amounts of it. It's just part of the product. When 28, let me give, I'm going to start it up here. Uh, when 20, 8.1 grams of tetraantimony hex oxide reacts with excess carbon. So it's that SB4O6 with excess carbon. Again, it just tells us our equation. What is the percent yield? So question mark, percent yield. I'm a big fan of writing what's in the equation. I, I just finished reading the equation. I have all that stuff written down. The first thing I'm going to want to do is balance my equation. Four antimonies, four antimonies, six oxygens, six oxygens, and six carbons. Okay? Let's now understand what I'm kind of doing. I'm giving you some antimony, tetraantimony hexoxide. I want to figure out how much grams I'm supposed to get. I'm theoretically supposed to get. So really it's just a grams to moles, moles to moles, moles to grams, and then I'll be able to compare my theoretical and my amount recovered. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I think green will show up good. So X line grams SB4O6 moles SB4O6. I did this one, let's see if I can read it. 584, one for moles. 584. Um, when I divide that, I get 0 0.048 moles of SB4O6. Then I'm going to now convert from moles to moles. Next line. Moles of SB4O6, moles of SB, my antimony, what I'm looking for. So 4 and 1. This is from our coefficients of our balanced equation. So I'm now going to multiply by 4, 0 0.194. I keep this right on my calculator when I'm doing it. It's just so much easier. So moles of antimony. Now I'm going to X line, moles antimony, grams antimony, 1 and what is it, 122 grams. All right. So 122, multiply those two, and I get, uh, I can't quite see, yep, 20, grams of antimony. This right here is my theoretical yield, how much I'm supposed to get, okay? And that might be a question of how much are you supposed to get. Now I want to know my percent yield, which is going to be that percent yield is my experimental over my theoretical times 100 to get my percentage. So I'm going to take that 17.3 grams that I was given over my 23.73 grams, I'm going to multiply that by 100, and I get 72.9% yield. And there would be my percent yield review. Hopefully comfortable enough with that as well. All right, very good.